हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स मल्टीप्लिकेशन ट्रिक्स आर समथिंग यू नो विच आर इन्यूमरेबल एंड यू कीप ऑन लर्निंग सम न्यू ट्रिक्स एंड यू कीप ऑन गेटिंग मोर एफिशिएंट इन मल्टीप्लाइंग डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ नंबर्स रिसेंटली आई पोस्टेड सम वीडियोज इन विच आई टू कप सम स्पेशल नंबर्स विच एंड इन थ्री और एंड इन नाइन और मल्टीप्लीकेशन बाई यू नो सम नंबर्स हु Uh, tables are difficult to remember like multiplication by 16 and that generated a very good response from you so for the benefit of all my subscribers and all my viewers this is yet another multiplication short trick in which i am going to take up some special numbers which have zeros in the middle just like 208 like this it may be 10 or more than one zero in the middle and you will see how multiplication of those numbers becomes so easy and you can actually do that in a single line within 5 to 6 seconds time obviously little bit of practice is required for everything so watch the complete video to learn something very useful and if you have not yet subscribed the channel please click the subscribe button here and click the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting the notifications of all these amazing useful uploads on suresh agarwal's mathematics shortcuts so let's get going and have the first example this is the first type of question which i am taking up so as i told you you may have one zero in the middle or multiple zeros in the middle so i'll take the first case where we have a single zero this is case 1 which has a single zero in the middle so just like 607 and i need to multiply that by 403 now when you have to multiply these two numbers you just have to think about the vertical and crosswise method which we were doing earlier in vedic mathematics i have posted so many videos on that and you must be thorough by now so let's apply that method it's an indirect application of the same vertically and crosswise method but this will sound more easier to you so when we have a single zero in the two numbers which are to be multiplied then you should know that the product of the unit digits that is these two digits has to be a double digit number so 7 3 times here is 21 it is a double digit number so uh, no change is required in case suppose you had a 1 here so 1 times 3 is 3 which is a single digit number then you would have written 0 3 okay so we require two digits when we multiply the unit digits of both these numbers likewise the first part of your answer will be the product of the first digit here and the first digit here in this case it is 6 times 4 which is 24 this can be a single digit or a double digit or a triple digit number it doesn't matter for the middle part you should have again a two digit number and how do you find the middle part 607 and 403 now we will do the crosswise so this is 6 times 3 which is 18 and this is 7 times 4 which is 28 and when you add them you get 46 now fortunately for us this is a double digit number so 46 retains its place in the middle and you have an answer two digits here two digits here and the remaining part here 24461 is the product of 607 and 403 now you can see i have not done even a single calculation in the rough work this is just for demonstration purpose this can be done orally from the question itself how you see in the second example which i am going to take up suppose you have 807 and i need to multiply that by say 908 so what will i do for simplicity sake i will write them one below the other like this now this makes my task a little bit easier when you multiply these two 8 7 times is 56 right so it's a single uh, it's a double digit number so i don't need to worry in case it is a uh, triple digit number then i need to worry but in this case i don't think it will be a triple digit number what we have to be bothered about is the middle part when we multiply this by this you get 
and when you multiply this by this you get 63 and there we go we have the same case here this is 127 which is a triple digit number now what happens when it is a triple digit number the last two digits 27 you have to write it in the middle and the one here you have to keep it in the mind and when you multiply the first two digits that is 9 times 8 9 times 8 is 72 right and 72 plus 1 this 1 is to be added to the product of first two digits that gives us 73 as the first part and your answer for the question is 7327564807 times 908 likewise we can go on and on and solve another question suppose you have the same number here followed by a one here okay so i'm taking one two zero eight as the number it's a four digit number but we have a single zero in the middle now that's what matters uh, the case is when you have a single digit in the middle now what is the second number which we should take like uh, let's take 702 okay now if i need to multiply these I will consider 12 as a single number and I will perform the same steps. Now 8 times 2 is 16, a double digit number, so no worries there. 12 times 2 is 24 and 8 times 7 is 56. So we have a 80 which is a double digit number, so 80 retains its place, no changes. And finally 12 times 7 is 84, so 848016 is the product of these two numbers if you want to take some more different types of examples of case one only then I'll, I'll take those also let's take another question where we have 2905 see again a four digit number and i need to multiply that by say 801 now 5 times 1 is 5 now what did i tell you when we have one zero in the middle we should have two digits when you multiply these two numbers so 5 times 1 is 5. So I will write that as 0, 5. Now this is important. That's why I am taking different types of questions. Now when you multiply 29 by 1, you get 29. And when you multiply 8 by 5, you get 40. When you add them, you get 69, which is a double digit number. So 69 comes as it is. And finally, 29 times 8. This is what you need to do. So this is... 8 nines are 72, so 2 and a 7 carry, so 16 and 7, 23, so 232. And there we go, 2, 3, 2, 6, 9, 0, 5 is the product of these two numbers. Likewise, suppose you have another example, I'm increasing the value, like I'm increasing the, uh, the value of the number 74, see. So, uh, just to show you that this also can be worked upon in the similar manner. Let's multiply it by 608. So the last part is pretty easy. 8 times 3 is 24. So two digits, no problem. Here we have 6 times 3, which is 18. And finally we have 74 times 8. Now 74 times 8, 8 fours are 32. So 3, 8 sevens are 56, 59. So 592 and 592 plus 18 gives me 610. Now this is a three digit number so i'll just write the last two digits 10 and retain the six in the mind which i will use when i multiply 74 by 6 so when you multiply 74 by 6 six fours are 24 so 7 six are 42 44 so it's triple four right and when you add six to the result you get 450 as the remaining part of your answer and you can check using the calculator now 7403 times 608 is 4501024. So this is case one of this trick to multiply numbers with zeros in the middle. So I said zeros in the middle. So let's increase the number of zeros now and learn the same trick for numbers having two zeros in the middle. Now let's take the first example as 9008 and 6. 0, 0, 6. Now I need to multiply these two numbers. Now what is the change? The change is you have two zeros in the middle now. So the two digits which we were taking in this product and the crosswise product, now that two digits increase to three digits. 
okay so let's see how now 8 times 6 is uh, 8 6 are 48 right so I'm not going to write 48 because I need three digits I will write 048 now this is one of the important steps the second part 9 times 6 is 54 and 8 times 6 is 48 and if I add them 90 and 12 102 right now I've got a three digit number and I wanted a three digit number only so 102 also retains its place and finally 9 times 6 is 54 so now you can pick up the calculators 5410208 is the product of these numbers so three digits here and three digits here and this is the remaining part of your answer it can be any value right let's take another example uh, say 2007 and i need to multiply that by 11006 now see a five digit number here but the trick doesn't change because you have two zeros in the middle and two zeros in the middle here so seven six are 42 right so i will write 042 as the last part because i need three digits cross multiply this is 77 and this is 12 so i get 89 but this is a two digit number whereas i require a three digit number so i'll write 089 as the second part of my answer and finally very easy right 2 times 11 is 22 i don't have to make any change here now double 2 089042 is the product of these big numbers see how much time will it take i think 5 to 6 seconds are more than enough for this particular type of question let's take another one 21007 see it's a big five digit number and i need to multiply that by say 8008 now 8 sevens are 56 so i will write 056 as the last part 21 times 8 is 168 i'll write here 168 and 8 uh, sevens are 56 right so this is 4 1 carry means 12 2 1 carry means 2 224 Three digit number that's what i wanted so 224 second part of my answer and 21 times 8 is 816 1682240566 is the product of 21007 and 8008 let's complicate it a little more let's take a big number 86007 and i need to multiply that by 5009 so let's let's do it very quickly. Seven nines are sixty-three, so I'll write zero six three as the last part. Eighty-six into nine, so I need to do eighty-six into nine. Nine six are fifty-four, so four and a five. Nine eight are seventy-two, seventy-seven. So seven seventy-four and seven fives are thirty-five. So this when you add them, you get nine zero eight eight zero nine. And this 809 is a three digit number, so this forms the middle part of my answer. And finally, 86 times 5, 860, the half is 430. And there we go, the answer for the question is 4308090063. How about having uh, both five digit numbers? Can we extrapolate it to both five digit numbers having two zeros in the middle? Let's check. 17004 and 90026 can we try using this method or, or let's take a four digit number i'll leave that to you okay uh, doing four five digit by five digit will be a challenge i'll take that in my next slide okay so four twos are eight right so but i don't want to write eight i have to write zero zero eight because i need a three digit number now 17 times 2 is 34 and 9 fours are 36 so this is 70 and but i don't want to write 70 i have to write 070 because i need a three digit number here and finally 17 nines are 153 so 153 forms the last part of my answer the product is 15307008 now you can go on and on you know and uh, uh, try with three zeros four zeros in the middle six digits seven digit numbers it will work i'll show you only one more example okay so let's take four zero 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 seven three zeros in the middle 
and let's multiply that by one five zero 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 nine, right? So can we try this now? And you should know that we have to get four digits now when we multiply this, and when we cross multiply, we have to get four digits in on the right side and in the middle. So seven nines are sixty three, right? And sixty three has to be written as zero zero six three. So that's the last part of my answer. And then nine fours are thirty six, and fifteen seven times is one zero five. So one zero five. You get one hundred and forty-one. So I have to write zero one four one because I need four digits here. And finally, fifteen times four is sixty, which forms the last part of my answer. And here we go. It's a big ten-digit number: six double zero one four one zero zero six three. So I leave this here because the trick will get too elongated if I take more examples. So you can try yourself now. Take some. random examples maybe try with two zeros in one number and one zero in the other number and let me know in the comments here did it work and if it did do give it a share you know you need to share these links with your friends so that they can also enjoy the beauty of mathematics and learn some useful tricks which will help you in cracking all the competitive exams in future so all the best for your practice and do not forget to share the video with your friends thank you